builds emotional intelligence. Now, if I ask how many emojis are there, your answer would be somewhere around 2823. Now tell me to express our emotions if we have so many teeny tiny pictures. Why don't we use those many words? Let me give you some examples. Peppa, would you like to join us? Hey, I would be delighted. Mummy, I finished my project. It took me two days. And then Mummy Pig says, you must be so happy. I'm going for a sleepover today. Oh, look at you. So happy. I came fast in class. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Peppa. And then Sunday. Mummy, I have a dance performance today. Oh, are you scared? Mummy, what was that loud noise? Oh, did that scare you, my poor baby? There's broken glass on the floor. Don't be scared. Mummy's here. Get your emotional vocabulary straight. Let's do this once again. So relieved. I'm going for a sleepover today. Look at you, so excited. I came fast in class. I'm so proud of you, Peppa. Mummy, I have a dance performance today. Are you nervous? Mummy, what was that loud noise? Did that startle you, my poor baby? Mummy, there's broken glass on the floor. Don't panic, Mummy's here. So, the trick of the day. I think you've already guessed. Use different words for different emotions. Don't oversimplify feelings while talking to your children. They are also people, but only smaller. They feel all the same emotions, got it? Now you will say, Ira, there's only one way to tell you we like you. But no, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you like it more, then hit the subscribe button. And if you like it even more, share. Sharing is caring.